For decades, space was the exclusive realm of government giants, NASA, the Soviets, and a handful of other nations. These agencies dominated the skies, their missions fueled by national pride and vast public budgets. The idea of a private company reaching orbit seemed almost unthinkable, until SpaceX arrived. Born from Elon Musk's bold vision to make humanity multiplanetary, SpaceX stumbled through a gauntlet of early failures, each one broadcast to the world and dismissed as a billionaire's folly. Critics doubted the company's survival, let alone its ambitions, but each setback fueled relentless innovation. The team worked tirelessly, learning from every mistake, determined to prove the skeptics wrong. The breakthrough came with Falcon 1's first successful orbit, a moment that changed everything for SpaceX and the future of private spaceflight. This was soon followed by Falcon 9's unprecedented vertical landings. Suddenly, rockets were reusable, a concept that had eluded the industry for decades. The cost of reaching orbit plummeted, opening the door for more frequent and affordable missions and changing the economics of space forever. NASA took notice, partnering with SpaceX to ferry cargo, an unprecedented move that signaled a new era of public-private collaboration in space. And soon, SpaceX was trusted to carry astronauts to the International Space Station, a responsibility once reserved for only the most established agencies. Each mission cemented SpaceX's reputation as a reliable, revolutionary force, inspiring a new generation of engineers and dreamers. The underdog became an industry titan, proving private companies could not only compete but lead in the race to space. This transformation set the stage for SpaceX's most ambitious project yet, Starship, a fully reusable spacecraft designed to take humans to the moon, Mars, and beyond. The company's credibility, forged through adversity and innovation, now attracts the attention of another powerful entity, the U.S. military, eager to harness SpaceX's capabilities for national security. SpaceX's journey isn't just a business story, it's a fundamental shift in humanity's relationship with space, opening new frontiers for exploration, industry, and imagination. Starship is a stainless steel giant, standing over 400 feet tall, an unmistakable presence on the launch pad, and a symbol of a new era in spaceflight. But it's more than just a rocket, it's a revolution in how we think about reaching space, built to break the boundaries that have held us back for decades. Unlike any vehicle before it, Starship is engineered for full, rapid reusability. Both the booster and upper stage return to Earth, ready to launch again with minimal turnaround. This approach slashes launch costs dramatically, making access to space more affordable and routine, more like catching a flight than embarking on a one-way journey. Starship's payload capacity is staggering, over 100 metric tons to low Earth orbit, far surpassing anything flying today and opening the door to missions once thought impossible. Now scientists and engineers can dream bigger than ever before. Massive telescopes, complex interplanetary probes and entire new classes of spacecraft are suddenly within reach. Even the construction of Moon and Mars bases becomes feasible, as Starship can deliver the heavy infrastructure needed to support long-term human presence. Its design prioritizes mass production and frequent launches, aiming to make spaceflight as routine and reliable as commercial aviation. Starship's unprecedented scale and efficiency promise to transform space from a rarefied frontier into a bustling highway accessible to more people and organizations than ever before. The world's most powerful military is watching closely, recognizing Starship as the key to a new era of space dominance and strategic advantage. This isn't just a bigger rocket, it's a bold new philosophy for humanity's future beyond Earth, one that could reshape our destiny in the cosmos. Starship could turn us from mere visitors in space to true spacefarers, living and working beyond our home planet. That's why Starship stands at the center of the next great leap for humanity, redefining what's possible and inspiring a new generation to reach for the stars. The U.S. Space Force, tasked with securing America's interests in orbit, is constantly searching for new technologies that can give the United States a strategic advantage in space. As the threats to satellites and orbital assets grow more complex, the need for innovation has never been greater. Enter Starship, a rocket that the Space Force sees as a true game-changer, capable of transforming how the military operates above Earth. Its enormous payload bay shatters old limits, enabling the deployment of massive satellites and even entire constellations in a single launch. This scale was unimaginable just a few years ago, but now it's within reach. 
With this capability, the U.S. can build more resilient, flexible networks in orbit, networks that are harder to disrupt, easier to replace, and can adapt quickly to new threats or missions. Starship's rapid launch cadence gives the military unmatched agility, allowing for quick replacement of lost assets or the sudden deployment of new capabilities. This fundamentally alters the calculus of space security and deterrence. Perhaps the most radical idea is rocket cargo, delivering over a hundred tons of supplies, equipment, or even vehicles anywhere on Earth in under an hour. This is a logistical revolution. Such capability could transform not just military logistics, but also disaster response, bypassing traditional choke points and reaching remote or crisis-stricken areas with unprecedented speed. The Pentagon is actively pursuing this vision, investing in Starship's potential to leapfrog adversaries and secure American interests in a rapidly changing domain. For the Space Force, mastering rapid massive space access is the new high ground, a critical advantage in the 21st century space race. Embracing Starship isn't just about launching rockets, it's about redefining what's possible for national security and setting new standards for what America can achieve in space. The partnership with SpaceX is now a strategic imperative, promising a decisive edge in the 21st century space race and ensuring the U.S. remains at the forefront of space innovation. With Starship, America is poised to make its boldest leap yet, establishing a new backbone for its orbital ambitions and securing its place among the stars. Starship's scale demands a new kind of launch pad. Enter Space Launch Complex 37 at Cape Canaveral. In December 2025, the Air Force officially handed this historic site to SpaceX, marking a new era for U.S. space strategy. Once home to Saturn rockets and Delta IV's heavy, SLC-37 will now support dozens of Starship launches and landings each year. This high-cadence facility, alongside SpaceX's other pads, ensures robust, redundant access to space for critical missions. The transformation of SLC-37 is more than infrastructure. It's a symbol of the military's deep commitment to Starship. With this launch pad, the U.S. secures its ability to deploy assets rapidly, no matter the challenge. SLC-37 is the physical foundation of America's Starship-powered future. The SpaceX military partnership promises power, but it's not without risks. Government contracts bring strict oversight and bureaucracy, potentially slowing SpaceX's famously fast, iterative approach. Military priorities could bump commercial or scientific missions, creating scheduling conflicts and straining relationships. Secrecy around national security launches may clash with SpaceX's open, public-facing culture, reducing transparency and public excitement. The challenge, balancing the military's demands with SpaceX's innovative spirit. If not managed carefully, the alliance could stifle the very culture that made Starship possible. The future hinges on whether SpaceX can stay agile while serving its most powerful customer. While the U.S. partners with SpaceX, China is proving its own space prowess. When a major power failure struck the Tiangong space station, China's response was swift and sophisticated. Ground teams and astronauts worked seamlessly to stabilize the station, showcasing mature command and control. A rescue rocket stood ready but wasn't needed. Instead, a cargo ship delivered the exact parts for repair. The crew fixed the problem and completed their mission, demonstrating China's ability to handle crises in orbit. This episode proved China can not only reach space, but stay, adapt, and thrive there. China's resilience signals its intent to be a long-term, self-sufficient space power. December 2025 marks a new era, two giants, two visions, shaping humanity's future in space. The U.S. bets on commercial innovation, blending SpaceX's agility with military might to secure orbital dominance. Starship and Launch Complex, 37 symbolize a bold, risk-taking approach to space leadership. Meanwhile, China's state-driven model shows discipline, resilience, and the ability to sustain and repair complex systems in orbit. This isn't a single race but a multipolar contest. Commercial dynamism versus state-led endurance. The interplay between these models will define the next chapter of space exploration. Together, they're pushing humanity closer to becoming a truly spacefaring civilization.